That one, the others definitely heard that. Butler, ah, まさかこの劣勢をひっくり返せるというのか Hmm, he might. アリシヒの私ならできただろうな。そしてバトラならできるであろうぞ。バトラ。バトラよ。私よりすべてを受け継ぎし男であるならば、今こそその証しを示せ。黄金の魔女伝説をこんなところで終わらせるな。私は昨夜、確かにここでお父様に会いました。確かにです。そして、後宮家の栄光ある歴史とそれを担う責任の重さについて。もうその嘘は暴かれているんです。夏日さん、あなたが昨夜。一人でこの部屋にいたことはもう分かってるんです。そろそろ諦めて告白に入ってもらえませんか？犯人の往生際の悪さとミステリーの出来の悪さは比例するんです。最後くらいこれがちょっとはマシな三流ミステリーだったことを証明してください。ああダメだな。全然ダメだぜ。ベルン、who had been silent all by himself up until then, finally spoke. At first, it sounded as though he was attacking Natsuki. However, when Erika realized he was glaring directly at her, her expression visibly clouded with displeasure. 何がダメなんですか？ミステリーが三流なら、その探偵も三流だな。Oof. Burn. Yeah, by your logic, the crappier the mystery, the more forgotten the mystery is, and thus the more forgotten the detective is. I mean, hey, the reason why Sherlock Holmes and other detectives in media are so well known is because of their mystery stories. They are well done. If this is a third-rate mystery, then by your logic, what does that tell you about yourself? Easy. I'll be the father of your father. Ba, Batara. Are you Kinzou? Really? Kinzou is going to be the one who can show the secrets from this room to the rest of us. まさか私のチェックメイトを否定されるというつもりでバカなこの男は何を言ってるのですか新しく来たお嬢さん方ここのゲームは初めてだ悪いがその程度でチェックメイトって言っちまうようじゃ全然ダメだぞああ本当にダメだな<笑>どういうことだバトラーお前が親父になるだとうん再現してやるぜ俺がじい様になってこの部屋から消え去ってやるいや、yeah. be fantastic I bet like a magic show と扉も窓もアウトやでどうやって隠し扉の場所が分かったんですか私たちにはさっぱりええー、さっぱりラッサン That sound wasn't just the noise of the onlookers fidgeting It was a provocative It was a provocative chill that ran up Erika's spine 気に入りましたそうですねあなたは投手の指輪を持つ後ろ見分け次期投手金蔵さんの代役を務める資格は十分あるでしょう。見せてもらおうじゃないですか。あ、エレカ's expression was no longer a child's smile. It was malicious, extremely displeased. 
She couldn't conceal her anger at having her most pleasurable moment ruined.情けねえ話ばかりで泣けてくれ。俺たちは天下御免の後ろ身は金蔵の話をしてるんだぜ。もう少し通快活豪快な答えは出てこねえのかってんだ。全くだね。自らのこととはいえ、私にも思いつけな
もちろんシャノンちゃんたちに毎日掃除をさせてるんだがそれでもおばさんは細かくチェックしているわけだホコリが落ちてないかどうか消耗品は切れてないかどうかは,はい大切な当主様の部屋ですから使用人任せにせず自らでも細かくチェックしていますこれは必ず行っていることですそそうです奥様は普段からとても丁寧にチェックしていますチェックは細かく水場の消耗品一つ一つにまで及びますつまりよくテレビドラマで見るような窓辺の誇りだけじゃねえ水場の洗剤の残量やトイレのトイレットペーパーの残数さえ見て毎日でなくてもいいだろうにまめなことさそ,それが日課です一日たりとも当主様のお部屋のチェックに気の緩みがあってはなりませんそれが何だって言うんですかもったいぶるのも大概にしてください<laughs> yeah, like this is this is the part at the end of the story where the detective is gonna is gonna reveal how it was all done. It's really exciting. Shh, be quiet, Erika. The detective is still talking here. Cause the society is about a car that oga. So, say to you, not a young deva iruga. Coco a mohaya. Yashkino Nakani Sonsai Sir, second house to it demoni. Sis Gari, Sosai Gari, Mizubagari, Toide Mo Kromoa. Smari Hitots no hair janai. Hitots no yeto. Sosai nine of course, I said, my cancha this. しかしそのどこかに隠れるという手はすでに破られています隠れはしないさだが資格はいくらでもあるはずだああ I see so he's going with that idea like to sneak himself out of the room before the door closed and well since there are multiple rooms in the study he's saying that Kinzo could have escaped while Natsui was checking the other rooms and such. Okay. Let's see where this is gonna go. Tatueva, Natsui Obasan got toilet to paper no kazo shirabin, toilet in high tin. Natsui Obasan got a shosai no hobo subetin, shakatin. Smari, shosai no hobo zainikara, kansok shaka, hieta. ケンケ、書斎内に魔女の闇が十万摂氏こと申し上げ立てまつる。よいぞ。闇の力が満ちてきた。ええ。観測者が夏日がいなくなったからなんだと。それで。じいさまは。ようやくコールサイナツヨバさんが姿を消したので起き上がるどうしてこのような行かれた夜に行かれた天気の夜空をめでることに勝る酒の魚はないわナツヒオバさんがトイレという資格にいる以上じい様には書斎を自由に歩き回ることが可能になる。It was possible for him to move without Nazi's knowledge. It was possible for him to move without contradicting what Nazi knew. 警告バトラが書斎扉に接近するであります。緊急、書斎扉のロック解除時には騒音が鳴り響くものなりや。夏日に不審に思われずして扉より出ることかなわぬと知りたまる。Really? Hmm. Well, what if 
What if not he did not hear the loud noise in the first place? Maybe Kinzo deactivated the mechanism in a way that made him go through the door. Or the door was open when he escaped? Nah. Even with that, that still won't avoid the red truth. She says that no matter what, one cannot leave without drawing Natsu's suspicion. Okay. In that case, what about the window? That, because Beller had acted as though he was heading for the door, Gertrude, who was sitting in the door, immediately issued a warning. Maybe it was possible for him to leave the study while the Natsu's plant spawned. However, um... So yo. Oto yo. オートロックの解除には大きな音がするのを私たちは知っているわ。書斎内の四角に夏日がいたとしても、オートロックを解除するときのあの大きな音は聞き逃さない。不審に思わないはずがない。金券。夏日は扉の開く音、材質中に聞
夏日おばさんがじい様を逃がしたんじゃねえじい様が夏日おばさんに隠れて自ら抜け出したとしたらいえ、yeah. We are on a roll here うう,う Suck on these chopsticks うう,うどどうして窓から自分で出るんですか金蔵がこのイカれた晩に雨天へ飛び出すくらい酒の座教程度にしかならぬは私にとってはなでもここ3階ですよありえませんそうなったとて階段を降りるとき一段くらい飛ばすこともあるであろう金蔵なら3階くらいはやりかねませんが、uh, He was quite an old coot やりかねませんねそそんなバカな Blue cracks appeared in Cornell's red bag, and it shattered with a crisp sound. It's all far too quick. It looked almost as though she'd gotten out of the way herself in fear of valor. At the same time, the barrier shattered. The window behind Cornell's back was flung open. The curtains fluttered for just an instant. Though it was all filled with rain. The heavens and the courtyard were spread out in front of them. A fitting exit for an eagle leaping from this locked room. Cornel quickly came back to her senses and set up another red barrier. However, this was the last one. Yeah, that is simple. Natsuhi locked it herself. She probably thought that the window opened by itself. And she did not think that Kinzo would escape through that. Kinzo and Bellar Grant. She thought this feeble red could block the charge of Bellar and Kinzo. The two family heads. Alright. Now the barrier had found the answer. The red barrier was more fragile than thin glass. Red magical wall of certainty had the red magical wall of certainty had been smashed again, so easily that it disgraced the name of certainty itself. Could it be believed? That barrier was more firm than any shield or Noe had ever used against Jessica. And yet it had been destroyed so easily. The battle was charging furiously forward and had almost reached Cornelia. She didn't step aside. Her steel spirit, what do you the name Eisen Jungfrau, didn't allow her to step aside. She took a talisman from her pocket, placed it in thin air, and drew a sign. Then, not red, but blue burned there. Wait, what? Though it was far more frail than the red barrier, it was her last method of resistance. Simple. There could have been a ladder there to help Kinzo get out. Or not. Maybe he fell and died. 
it doesn't really matter at this point. Beller flew. He burst through Cornelia's blue radiator, smashing it away. And his body flew out the window into the darkness of the rainy sky. Yes! Perfect defenestration! My goodness, I'm getting the goosebumps here. <laughs> the fragments of the blue barrier scattered, leaving blue dust in their wake, coloring the air beautifully. The lock room had been smashed open. Bella had jumped from the mansion. She was in the sky above the rainy courtyard. All the raindrops had become small, round gems that were scattered through the air. That I was floating through the jewelry box rolled up this beautiful stormy sky, filled with countless raindrop gems. In the sky were all frozen in time. Delanor and Beller faced each other. Yeah, Beller had smashed and flown out the window. It was like a knight leaping off a white horse. Then Delanor, who floated in the air waiting for him, was also a knight. In the air above the courtyard surrounded by the Oshirimiya mansion frozen in time, the true new head of the Oshirimiya family and the disciple of heaven who would test him crossed paths. <laughs> ミスラ打ち破れたことに変わりはない。命を捨てて飛んだあなたこそ純教者。よくぞ我らの見つけ会を打ち破って見せました。あっぱれです。後ろ宮バトラ。されど。我こそは史跡単神門か。ドラノル
I guess we can... I guess we can use the red from before that Natsuki claimed that she talked to Kins on the study at 11 p.m. Meaning that well, she was in the study at that point. And no matter where Natsuki was in the study, she would always have like a blind spot because, well, because of the study having like multiple rooms. And we have already talked about that like plenty at this point. She would definitely have blind spots since she would be in the study. For the first time, Delnor showed an expression. He was a soft smile. She had known since long ago that the study structure had been mentioned. But she couldn't let him escape without making a single strike. As an inquisitor, she could not do that. So though she had known that she wouldn't make it, she had still crossed swords with Bella. In Bella's hand was a blade that shone red. That blade etched out the red truth. It wouldn't be an exaggeration to say that Kenzo's study was a small villa he had created inside a mansion. A study, a book archive, a place to sleep, and a bathroom and washroom. It was divided into multiple rooms. And that was already presented. And it suggests that room sized blind spots can exist within the study. Without any mercy, no. Without any reluctance that would have been dishonorable. The sword of red truth cut into Delano. Its sharp trail cut the countless gem drops filling the sky into a beautiful hemisphere. <laughs> Time exploded into life. Both of them fell through the courtyard. One drifted down, and the other tumbled through the air. Then there was a soft sound and a dull thought. And the first was the sound of Bedler landing gently in the courtyard. The second was the sound of Delanor crashing down. And I think that she's gonna be fine. After crouching down for a while, Bedler slowly stood up. And though he had jumped down from the third floor, he had landed as lightly as though he had merely jumped over a fence. Bedler leaned out of the study window, looking to see if the supposedly wingless Bedler had landed safely. Don't worry, beloved Princess Beatrice! Your knight in shining armor, Batora, is here. And I'm here too. The trusty... The trusty white steed with a frying pan. Beado,来い,止め。その窓が俺たちの出口の扉だ。だから止め。お前は密室に閉じ込められてるような魔女じゃないだろうが。the study was no longer a locked room. She could jump from here, escape from here. The locked room which had friend captured the witch and suffocated her had now been destroyed. Kenzo's form became a group of gold butterflies and the spirit. The lock room barrier had dissolved, and the power which denies magic had scared. Battle ran towards the window. That was the only exit from the lock room of this witch hunt. After glancing at the Inquisitors and the Chester sisters, 
she readied her wound-covered body and ran towards the window, just like Better had done. She looked like Cinderella running as she heard the bell toll. <laughs> Erika flew at Beato, trying to grab onto her as she dashed away. But it was like trying to catch smoke, and Erika landed face first on the floor. Splat! There's no way a human can catch a witch. For one such as her, without love, even touching Beato was impossible. Both Chister Dobolo and Gertrude spoke with unbelievably calm voices. Jesus. Erika crouched, screaming and clutching at her head. Just like Beto, Beto also jumped. She drifted down for the champ drop jewelry box, rolled in the battle's chest. Oh my! So dreamy! <laughs> okay, hop onto my back, both of you. I will offer you a ride into the sunset. Yay! Better caught her with both arms as though catching an angel's wings. He was like a knight catching a princess who had been locked up in the tower. A beautiful picture was seen in some fairy tale. うしろみは金蔵の破天荒を記せば書斎の魔導書の数に負けぬ長い波乱の物語が書けるでしょうがその次の当主の物語も記す価値が大いにありそうだいえいえもう記しておりますとそれはもう長い長い物語 <laughs> the demons giggled on top of the roof, holding umbrellas. Then, they quickly looked down over the two in the courtyard. Shock, Beto actually praised Bella as she as he held her in his arms. As she held him <laughs> Okay. Bella laughed in his usual carefree way. Eh, don't worry. You'll get him next time, I'm sure. Bella, Bella, Erika looked down from the window and clenched her teeth, still clutching at her head. Still holding Bato in his arms, Bella grinned back. Erika! What is this? The name of the Ogon is not for you. I'm going to take it. This is not for you. 
Nah, deh ya tuh. As Bella gave her mischievous grin, Yato's face turned and characteristically red. But even so, she spoke with a refreshingly bright expression while laughing loudly. As it should be. I guess so. I've been thinking before of why Battle never stopped the games despite the riddle being solved up to this point. It is as I said before, Eva solved it, and yet the game never stopped. And then I assumed that, oh, Balor has to solve it. But then, in this game, it has been solved by Balor too. But I guess the only way this can be solved is by Balor himself. Erika should not be involved in this, nor Ben Castello Lambda Delta, just Balor himself. At least, as far as I can understand, up until this point. Better snort it. I mean, that Battle had said something so unlike her. And still holding Battle in his arms, he spun around in a kind of vault. And the falling gem drops celebrated the overcoming of this trial. The battle had at least been seriously injured and riding in the mud. And I might still have had some ground to stand on. She might have been able to claim that Kinzo couldn't have jumped down with his old body and gotten away and skate. However, Beller stood calmly in the courtyard, looking up at Erika with the dignity of the victor. Erika tried to get everyone's agreement and somehow turn things around. But their responses were no different from how they had been a short while ago. いや、近所さんならありえますな。ご友伝の王よ、人や。それくらいじゃ驚きもせんで。あ、あんたたち、頭も正気もどうかしてんじゃないですか。いずれにせよ、あなたの密室議論は完璧ではなかった。Not only the servants, but the family members also agreed. They all agreed that there wouldn't be nothing strange about Kinzo jumping down from a third floor window. Just who in the world is this Uchidume Kinzo person? Man. From all I have been hearing throughout this, now Kinzo sounds like a pretty damn badass guy. Totally the opposite of how you portrayed him before in the previous games. Kinzo in his younger days seems like the polar opposite of what we've known of him. 
Beato, you are a weird person. You know that? もう一ひねり放水ところだ。おお。どの程度にひねる。そう。その。その。わらわを抱いたまま飛び降りるくらいは。やりかね。わかった。次の機会には。抱いたまま飛び降りてやるぜ。Beta's voice went very shrill, and she gulped. Then her body suddenly became a group of gold butterflies and crumbled away. It was because many people had rushed up to the window, and she was being bathed with gases filled with the anti-magic toxin. Beta's body became invisible to them, and melted into the air. So, to their eyes, it appeared that Beller was standing all alone out in the courtyard. Batara! Daijabuka! Go. Go, Buji, so this. Yokata. Hi, Boko, this. There was a sign of Karela no Tamino. But as she knew, told me. There was no point in them nor expression. Pleasure and pain never showed up on her face in the first place. However, she used her long sword as a crutch as she struggled to her feet. So it was easy to tell that she had taken heavy damage. And despite her lack of an expression, you could tell that this was a loss she could accept. Beller and Delanor turn to face each other. As though reading herself, Delanor quietly closed her eyes. But she still stood tall and maintained her air of dignity. The blue power gathered. Beller slowly approached Eleanor. Then, he faced the rainy sky and yelled out the blue truth. Natsuyobasan,目を盗み、窓より書斎を脱出した。Natsuyobasan は、それに気づかず、窓を施錠したんだ。これで、Natsuyobasan が23時に爺様の就寝を見届け、扉の列車と封印と。The blue witch flashed through the courtyard along with a blue bolt of light and roared down towards Delanor's forehead as she stared up at the sky. Alright. I can safely say that this is probably one of the most difficult mysteries that I've ever experienced. Still, you've done quite well, Dalnor. I give you my thumbs up. A massive blue wedge, which looked like a pillar, was above Delanor's forehead. And it stopped with its tip, just slightly touching her. And it didn't run her through. And it made no mark larger than being poked with a pencil. When Beller snapped his fingers, the blue wedge shattered. And became a shower of translucent gems. No, drops of rain that poured down over the courtyard. Delanor sat down in an absent sort of way. Amidst the thunder and rain, the successor of the Shurmia family faced the people staring down from the study and spread his arms wide. Yo, Koso, Oreto Beato again. 
歓迎するぜフルドエリカ謎とやらをね腹渡の奥の奥まで生きながらにね And that's the spirit Don't let it discourage you The path ahead is still long <laughs> Bella and Beto both look calmly up at Erica who couldn't contain that evil laugh. その顔を潰して額縁に飾りたいくらいに最高に笑える顔だわ<笑>私の分身が情けない情けないブザマブザマ<笑> All right. Are you done? It is very typical of you to think lowly of your pieces. Like you are being a complete dick to her. For this being her first game, I think that she did great, in my eyes. Bathed in the sneers of Bern Castell, the being who was like a mud girl. Like I was so ashamed that it looked as though she chewed her low lip to pieces. <laughs> Hmm. <sighs> 